Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square in this example we need to find the amplitude, the period and the phase shift of this trigonometric uh, function and also we have to graph one cycle. So I'm going to start with amplitude, period and the phase shift and in fact all these uh, features will help us to sketch one cycle, one period. Uh, so the first thing you want to notice is this number here, which is this A, right? Or this A if you have a cosine. That is the amplitude. The amplitude of this uh, trigonometric function is 3. Also, now we can go to the period. The period is 2 pi over B. B, you notice, is the number in front of the parentheses. You need to be sure you have x minus something. Okay, so in this case, the B is 2. So we're going to have 2 pi over 2, and that will be pi. That's the period. Let me write it here one more time. And we have one last thing. We need to find this C, which is the phase shift, right? You see X minus C, that is the C. You know, in our case, C will be nothing else than this pi over 4. So now we have everything we need for this uh, trigonometric function and we can move to the next thing which is graph, graph the one cycle. And the first thing I like to start in this case for this type of uh, trigonometric uh, function is to use this amplitude of 3. That means the, our graph is not going to go above this positive tree, so I'm going to draw some dash line here to be sure I'm not going to go over this, and below negative tree. The amplitude is positive tree. I mean, the amplitude is always positive. But, so those are the values that I want to be sure I don't go over or below. And then I'm going to look to this phase shift of pi over 4. That means from this 0 in 0, which was the uh, uh, initial points, let's say like that, for the parent graph f of x equals sine x, from this 0 in 0, I'm going to move pi over 4 uh, to the right. So that is going to be my first point in my uh, cycle, in my period. And then I need to find where this guy is going to be back in the same position and that will be after one period of pi so here on the left side i'm going to do a simple addition pi over 4 plus this period and that will be pi over 4 plus 4 pi over 4 and i'm going to end up with 5 pi over 4 that is this point here and now I want to find what is in the middle. You see, this point here is in the middle between these two guys. So how do I find that? I'm going to add these two values, pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. And then because I'm looking for in the middle, I can divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half. And let's see what we get here. Pi over 4 plus 5 pi over 4, it's 6 pi over 4. And you have choices here, but let's say you simplify this way. 2 goes in 6 3 times. So we uh, simplify 4, it's 3 pi over 4. This is this point right here, 3 pi over 4. So we have the three intercepts that uh, goes with sine of x or any other uh, sine function. Okay. Well, now we need to find the max and this mean. How do I find these two guys? I need to find again what is here in the middle and what is here in the middle. So let's start with the first one. So the first one is in the middle between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. Okay, so we're going to add these two guys and divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half. So I'm going to have 1 half. And pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4, that is 4 pi over 4. I think it's easier to simplify this way now. And we have the simplified form, which is pi over 2. This guy here, it's pi over 2. And don't forget, this one should be a max. It's the first 
is the second point in this uh, five point strategy I use to graph uh, sine or cosine. So that will be right here, a max. And now I'm going to need to find the second, the in fact, uh, the four point in this five points technique, how I I like to call it, and that is in the middle between 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Okay, so the same technique, find the midpoint, and we have 3 pi times 3 pi plus 5 pi, that's is 8 pi over 4. Now this 4 goes in this 8, and these 2 goes in this 2, so we have just pi here. So right here we have pi, and like I said, this is a mean. So now we have everything we need to get the graph. This is the starting point for doing the graph. It's going to go, turn back here, uh, get the intercept again, a minimum, and then here back to the zero. And this graph goes forever, doesn't stop here. If you want to do more periods use the same technique. Okay, so let's take a look now to my next slide where we have the accurate graph and you see it now how in fact it looks uh, using a uh, graph. If you enjoyed this document, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.